Hey guys, so I wanted to go ahead and make this video strictly about proof. I don't have a lot of time. I need to get ready and head off to my cousin's baseball game. Um, but I wanted to go ahead and talk about proof a little bit. So I say this and I don't want you to take it the wrong way, but if you are in instant rewards and you have not got one person, that's your fault, solely your fault. If you have got one person and you have your proof, and you have not gotten anyone else, that's even more so your fault. Now, the reason that I say this is because you have all the tools right at your fingertips that you need. You have the FAQ page, which is going to have all the information that they need to know and all the answers to any questions that they have. It also shows how professional this really is. Then you have the um, back office. So you will be able to use that for screenshots as well. On top of that, you also have the proof gallery, which you can send people the link to the proof gallery and they can scroll through and see everyone's proof right then and there. On top of that, you also have the two um, Facebook uh, groups. We have the actual Facebook group for the uh, members itself and then we also have the proof um, group on Facebook. You also have your sponsor. So that right there is six people, or six people, the six different tools that you can utilize um, to really make this successful for yourself. So um, the first thing first is when you get in, the first thing that you need to do is make a list of people that you know that could be interested. Even if you think that most likely they won't be interested, go ahead and try anyways. It's better to try and fail than to have not tried at all and still failed. Okay, so make sure that you are making a list of people, friends, family, acquaintances, um, fellow students, people that you work with, people that you go to church with, people in your group or your peers, whatever, um, people that may be interested. And then just go down that list, you know, explain it to them, let them know what it is. Um, hey, if you sign up for a few trial offers, you actually get paid $70 per person. It's just like DirecTV, you know, giving you, you know, a month off if you refer three friends or whatever. Or Sprint, um, giving you 50 bucks when you refer a friend who, you know, buys a new phone or whatever. It's just like that, only it's just trial offers and it's only like 10 to 20 bucks. And I mean, it's probably less than what you spend to get to work in one week anyways. So really, there's no point for them not to do this. And it's really easy for you to make that sale because of the fact that within your first personal loan, you're going to get paid 70 bucks. So you're going to make your money back plus a profit anyways. And you're going to get paid that money within eight hours. So it's not like you're going to have to wait till next Friday to see if you really get paid or not. You're going to know within eight hours of the sale whether or not this is legit. And you're going to be surprised because it is legit. And then you'll have your own proof to um, post. And then you can surprise everybody else too. But anyways, so... Um, back to proof. So when you get your first sign up, um, you will have a first email letting you know that they signed up. Screenshot that, post that. Even if all you say for the caption is, um, you know, my first sign up, got my first sign up, or say as easy as copy and paste, or hashtag own boss, or you know, made another sale from home. Do this while working from home. Do this while out to eat with friends. Do this while at a baseball game or whatever. Um, just be bubbly and be attractive, basically. Be attractive um, with your post. But anyway, so you're going to post that. Then once they complete the uh, offer requirements, you'll have a second email letting you know that they completed those. Go ahead and screenshot that, post that, and, you know, say something about how, oh, another $70 um, on the way or Another $70 deposit on the way to my account right now. Da 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 Whatever. And then um, you can also post, um, you know, like a welcome post. Like tag the person that you signed up if you have them on Facebook and if they're okay with that. And um, it could be a picture of them or it could be the actual screenshot that you got when they completed the offers and you can welcome them. And it's best to just blur out um, at least, like, a part of their email address just so that way then nobody else, no other marketers, because some marketers are really, really um, desperate. And, well, you know, just take their email and start emailing them, you know, spam, you know. So just for their safety and, you know, so that way then they don't get upset or anything like that, try to blur out, you know, their email address. Um, or, you know, use paint or whatever and just mark out their email address or whatever. Um, but anyways, 
And then, um, after you have that sign up, you can log into the back office, go to the order tab, click um, submit order, and then a box is going to pop up and it's going to have your email address. And then you can screenshot that before you click OK, screenshot that, post that, and say, just submitted my um, next $70 order, or have another $70 on, my, on the way to my account. And then you can post that. And then after that, within eight hours, usually less than five, um, you are going to have your payout. And you will have an email from PayPal, and you can go ahead and you can screenshot that. Um, if you have it on your phone, like I have the um, iPhone, so I don't know about like all the other smartphones, but if you have it on your phone and you open it up on your phone, like say that I'm out to eat, which happens a lot. Say that I'm out to eat and somebody completes the sale and I get my PayPal email. I'm going to go ahead and when I open up my email, log in my email, it's going to be right there. There's a little arrow before you click on it. You don't have to actually click and open the message. There's a little arrow and it points down. You can click that and it's going to show you more of the message and it'll actually show you, it'll show there in the text how much you are paid and that it was by instant rewards. And um, you can just go ahead and screenshot that so that's another form of um, proof. And then you can actually click on the message itself and then you can click the whole entire, um, you can screenshot the whole entire um, payout, um, PayPal transaction. And then you can also log into PayPal itself, go to the transaction, and open up the transaction, blur out the last digits, at least the last three digits of the transaction, if not the entire transaction number, and um, you can go ahead and you can post that to proof also. Then you also can go when you have more than one, probably like three to ten and higher, um, you can go to um, transaction history or all activity and then history, and you can change the different calendar dates. And then you can screenshot all those payments received. There will be a drop down. Click um, all payments received or payments received, whatever. And um, that will bring up all your deposits and not like the things that you spent money on. And then um, you can just screenshot that and then you can post it to Facebook. If there's anything that you don't want, you know, to be seen, such as, um, you know, if you work with another company and you're not promoting them, you can always blur that out or cross that out, whatever, and you can still post that and that will be more proof. Now another thing is with Facebook, go ahead and make a um, Facebook proof album, um, whether it says like, well, name the album like My Proof or IR Proof or Work From Home or I Do This From Home or you know something interesting um, but something that gets the point across without saying, without giving too much information, like you don't want it to be like join Instant Rewards in your link or something stupid like that, don't do that. Um, but anyways, um, then, so we named off what we had. The first email, the second email. Then we had um, the back office when you make the payment. Then the actual payment in the email with a drop-down arrow on your phone. And then the actual opened email, the full email. And then the PayPal transaction and then the PayPal history. So that right there is seven for you guys with one sign-up. So say that you get five sign-ups your proof album should have 35 pictures. So imagine if you were on the other side and you were a prospect, you were someone who was interested and somebody is posting all this and you've seen them post this constantly and you're seeing all this. And then next thing you know, you know, you're asking them about it and they go ahead and they ask you, you know, may I tag you in my proof album just so that we think you can see it. You of course are probably going to say yes because of course you want to see proof. And then when they tag you in that and you're scrolling through the album and they have 35 pictures, you're thinking that they're, you know, they're really, really successful when really they only have, you know, seven um, signups. But it's because you marketed it so well that you're more likely to follow in that. Hey, they can do this, so can I. And then you can even just show them this video so you don't have to explain what they need to do with their proof. But you can just show them this video and then they can do the same thing. And that looks more consistent, it shows more progress, it shows more success, and it shows that you're really about it. So that's a really good thing to do, is make sure that you utilize all the different proofs that you have. And then help your team to do the same, because you do get $3.50 every single time that somebody that you signed up signs somebody else. So you want to make sure that these people that you are signing up, you're not just leaving. Help them, it's going to benefit you anyways. And I mean, that's part of the reason why you're working from home, is to be independent. So. It's better to help people anyways, and not just think of yourself. Really help people, 
Because at the end of the day, the same reason that you wanted to work from home is probably the same reason that they want to work from home. So don't be, you know, you can't say, oh, I started working from home because my boss was an ass. And he didn't care about me or she didn't care about me at all. And I was just another number to them. But then you turn around and you treat other people just like a number when you're signing them up from home. So definitely don't be the same monster that you complained about. Don't be the same monster that made you get involved with working from home in the first place. Be better than that. And at the end of the day, when you sign somebody up and you see them succeeding, I'm telling you now it's going to be more rewarding than that $70 anyways knowing that you're actually doing something and you're making more of a difference in somebody's life, even if it's even if it's only two people a week. You are helping two people a week with their financial status. And that's huge. That's way more than handing someone a burger through a window or, you know, whatever else, not to knock anybody's hustle, but I'm just saying, like, make sure that you are not selfish about this. Utilize your proof, help others utilize their proof, and then all of you will succeed. So I will leave my email address at the bottom here and also my Facebook link. If you need any help or anything like that, um, feel free to contact me and um, or just connect with me. And um, I hope that this helped you and I hope that, you know, you utilize this. Also, download Pixlr Express. It's a free app on your mobile app and you can just um, pull up your screenshots. Click on text at the bottom um, to the right. It'll be at the bottom. Click on text. Add a zero. Type in zero, and then you can change the color and the fade of the circle. And you can rotate that circle, and then you can use that to circle your name. Because you want to make sure that you circle or underline. To underline, just do like an underscore. But circle and underline your name in all of your proof, or your email address in all of your proof, or the amount in all of your proof. Because you want to make sure that you're marketing yourself just as much, if not more, than the company. So. There's just another quick tip. So I hope that this helps, and I'm going to go enjoy the sunshine and the baseball game. So you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching.